Hey guys, so first we're gonna take the um, Urban Decay Primer Polish. And this is the anti-aging one, just put some primer all over your eyes. Then take Burnt Orange, this is from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I chose this palette because I know so many people have it, and also because, did you see, they recently stole like $4 million worth of the palette or something like that? So I feel like these palettes are gonna hit the streets soon. If you got the connect, holla at me, tell them I pay cash. But I'm here, I am applying Raw Sienna also onto my crease. Then I'm gonna go into Real Gar and put that in my crease as well. I love this color because it reminds me of the Morphe 35-0. Like it's like that beautiful like orangey, tangerine peachy color. So here I'm carving on my crease. So that is where I would normally carve on my crease. But for this look I decided to go a little bit higher. It's like a drag queen trick where they always make their crease higher and that's gonna sort of make your eyes look a lot bigger and I just love the way it looks, it looks so popping. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm applying right there. So basically what you do, um, you can use like a concealer to cut your crease. I use a mixture of the Becca concealer and the color banana and um, NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil. So I just sort of mix those two and that's what I'm putting on my lid. And I'm applying it with a um, eyeliner brush so I could get it to look really, really smooth and perfect. Then after I applied it, I actually took uh, a sponge and I just sort of went over the lid because that's going to pick up some of the product. If you don't do that you do risk sort of having it look really really cakey and crack and then it's like you have a lot of lines on your eyes it'll look like you're 100 years old but I went over that with tempera that color right there so I just sort of patted it on and those are your results it looks super intense I love it so I avoided the outer corner because I'm going to take the color Cypress Umber right there and I'm going to apply this to the outer corner. First I just put the color on and then I blended it out with a crease brush. That's what I'm doing right there. So next I applied my eyeliner. So when you do your eyeliner and you have sort of like this higher crease, what you want to do is just make sure that your liner is thicker than you normally do it and also um, longer than you normally do it because um, since your lid is higher, you definitely need a thicker liner. If not, it's going to look really, really weird if you have too much eye and not enough eyeliner. That makes any sense? But yeah, just like that. Thick and long, just like our, us babies like it. Uh, so then you're going to um, apply some concealer. So this is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I applied it underneath my eyes. This is the color Banana. And for the rest of my face, I actually used the Milani Retouch and Erase because this Anastasia cream contour thing is just way too thick for me. So I just decided to use the Milani on the rest of my face and I just blended it out. And here I'm using a NYX uh, contour stick duo thing. I will link it down below. I love this because instead of being like a cream, it's actually a liquid. So when you blend it out, it's not going to feel too heavy like that cream concealer did. So I'm just blending it out with a brush and then I went over it with the NARS Laguna bronzer. Yeah, so then I'm just blending it and then um, here I'm just going to start going over it with the Laguna. So then next I believe I contoured my nose also just using ours is going I don't really like to do like a cream and then go over with a powder when it's on the nose It's just gonna be like too much especially since your nose usually has a lot of oil on it Like your nose contour is probably gonna wipe off if you do that much So um, after I applied the contour I just went on the sides with a um, under eye powder just sort of clean it up, so that's what I'm doing right there. It's also gonna brighten. Uh, so then I took the Anastasia Gleam Highlighting Palette. I took those two colors, wet my brush a little bit, and there I am highlighting my cheekbones. Love it. Then I went on my nose as well, and I just did like the whole exclamation point thing from the bridge of the nose and also on the tip. And there I'm just taking the pink color from the Milani Strobe and Light Palette. Strobe and Highlight Palette. Strobe and Contour. Oh, I'll link it down below. But um, yeah. So here I'm just cutting out my crease with. A, my crease. No, here I'm carving out my cheekbones with just a powder. And I applied a really, really light, I applied a really, really light um, eyeliner because that's also going to make your eyes look bigger. Then it's a forever lit. That is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. Look at how beautiful that color is. It's so bright. I love it. So then for my lips, I'm actually overdrawing my lips. Um, I don't overdraw them too dramatically. So you're going to see right there. So it's not like a huge difference, but you do see a difference. It's not like how Kylie used to do it where it's like she used to abuse a lip liner. If you just do it a little bit, it will look nice and natural. And you do want to do a darker color than your lipstick and that'll just make it um like a little more believable but the lipstick i use is girl lactic uh mad lip paint seductive and those are the results all right guys so here is our finished look i really really love it i think it looks awesome um let me know what you think about it down below if you have any questions make sure you like make sure you subscribe and i'll see you next time